guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be making St. Patrick's Day crafts and activities for Joven. It will be leprechaun inspired and it will be so much fun. As you can see, I got this ginormous jar from last year and I will be reusing it today. You can use any crafts and materials that you have at home. You can recycle anything, just be creative. So I got this beautiful crate and I will be putting everything inside. Uh, first, oh, don't mind my double chin, it's so disgusting. <laughs> so I will be using this green straw thingy, just a filler inside the crate. So well, it looks more beautiful or like prettier to look at. <laughs> just make something like a bird's nest. <laughs> there you go. I will be recycling this one for his Easter basket activity bin so you know you can recycle everything you can use anything just be creative now i will be putting the giant jar inside and i got this lucky charms cereals so you can see it is also leprechaun inspired or saint patrick's day inspired the cereal itself is shaped like a clover leaf and there's like a small rainbow colored marshmallow so i know jovin will like this this will be his first time eating the cereals but i know he's gonna like it because of the marshmallows and it's honey flavored here i wanted him to be more independent and in the morning he can scoop out the cereals that he wanted to eat so by uh, this activity he's learning how to be independent and he's also having fun scooping out the cereals out of the jar which is fun for toddlers actually so he will be using my measuring cup for this one because i don't have any like special shovel for it and let's put it there let's fix all that straw thingy Okay, and another thing that I got for him is this um, leprechaun hat headpiece. It's just a headband with a St. Patrick's Day greeting on it. Don't mind my chin again because it's really ew. <laughs> Kitang kita ang fatness. So, ayan, I just got this one from the dollar store just to make sure na ma maging intim yung activity namin. So, I'm just gonna have him wear this one during our activity and kung ayaw niya, I can wear it. Don't matter. <laughs> no, you, you, as you can see, I don't know where to put it. Where, well, I'm gonna put it here, but you know, later I'm gonna put it someplace else because I'm still gonna arrange everything. Next one is a book. I always get him a book just to show him and introduce him the occasion or the holiday that we're having. Of course, coins or chocolate coins, since it's St. Patrick's Day, you know, like the leprechauns say, there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So this is the best part, actually, of these, um, of this activity bin. I know his, this is going to be his favorite because, you know, he's starting to like chocolates. For this activity, I'm just going to put the chocolate coins inside the leprechaun pot and I'm just going to have him dig for it. I do have some Orbeez that I'm going to grow and they are rainbow colored ones. So he's going to need to dig under the rainbow to get his chocolate coins. And I think he's going to have so much fun. Later, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with all that Orbeez that I'm going to put on top of this chocolate coins. So this is the Orbeez that I got from Amazon and I got this two weeks ago while I was planning Joven's St. Patrick's Day activity bin and I like it very much because it is very convenient. The colors are separated already and it is very cheap. It also has a tiny spoon at the back to scoop out all the Orbeez. It's easier to control the amount of Orbeez that you're going to grow and it's easy to store as well. So, as I've said, when I grow these Orbeez, I'm going to arrange it like a rainbow on top of the gold coins. 
and I'm gonna have him scoop it out and sort using this uh, silver plastic spoon <laughs> or like tiny shovel I also got some themed decorations from the dollar store just to make this crate more interesting for him so there's like uh, some necklace some sort of bead necklace I think and I think I got some garlands too just to put it in the crate I will also put this activity for him you can see there's like paw prints that he's going to follow it's in different colors like a rainbow and he needs to follow every paw print for him to get to the pot of gold so it's kind of like a treasure hunt for him while he's identifying the colors and probably I'm gonna let him count the paw prints from start to finish these small pots are from the dollar store as well and I'm gonna have him sort out the Orbeez by color so doing this activity he's not only identifying the colors but since the Orbeez are slippery uh, he will also develop his hand and eye coordination and his motor skills So let's get more creative. These are just cotton balls that probably you already have at home. We're gonna use this as a beard for the leprechaun. I'm probably gonna draw the face or just gonna print it from the computer. And we're gonna color it using orange food coloring. We will be using a squeeze bottle, water, and just orange food coloring just to color the cotton balls and make the leprechaun's beard orange. So we also have this colorful fuzzy wires and we're probably going to be doing a rainbow out of it. And for the green one, I'm probably going to have him trace a four leaf clover picture because these wires are so soft and twistable even toddlers can form it to whatever shape that they want. So now let's arrange the whole thing. Okay guys, I'm done! And this is the final product. I hope Joven will like it. Well, I know he will because there's chocolate and cereals, right? You can make your bin however you want, depending on your child's age and interest. Not only that this will be very fun for your kids, this is also a way for you to bond and have fun. So if you have any questions on how I make my bins, for Joven, just comment down below and hopefully I can reply to all your comments and questions from one mom to another. Do you like it? How about this one? Oh no! We're not gonna do that yet. That's a giant spoon. Mm -hmm. we, did it, we do it next week, okay? That's a chocolate coin. Mm -hmm. And look, there's like cereals inside. And you have a new book. Where's your new book? There. Right there. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. What you gonna say to mommy? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a coin. It's gold. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. <laughs>
Bis du dann gehst. Bye. Bye. Los geht's. Ha, <laughs> ha,